Hi everybody, how are you today? This is Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flames Merge. In this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I became an energy healer and about energy healing. Okay, and I have a saying, love is good medicine and love is healing. Twin Flame Love heals, period. I'm living proof of it. Not only am I living proof, I've helped hundreds of people over the years with this. Now, what is energy healing? So let's do a little bit of a background here. And I'm going to ask a lot of you sort of a question here because some people, I'd like to debunk some of the things that people might believe or not be aware of. And it's not a criticism. Everyone's coming from a different place. So as we're all in these melting pots and, you know, collectives are popping up and forming and people are all coming from different uh, mindsets or beliefs about this. Now, what I have found in my studies, my research and just living over the years that um, people tend to go with what they've grown up with and then later they will uh, learn some things. The best way you learn is through direct experience. And that means your own body, something that either happens to you or affects you or you live it or you live through it or maybe you don't live through it. So energy healing has to do with energy. But what we call energy is actually love. And some people will be feeling non-love, and some people will be feeling love. So to give you an example, let's take two different places. Let's take a party, and let's take a place like the Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay, what are the two energies or atmospheres in these places? And the party is a party atmosphere. There are happy, jovial, laughing, smiling people. There are people uh, wanting to show off their culinary skills or impress their friends or give gifts or just be happy to see each other or celebrate an occasion. In another place, you have people that are just there to do their duty, pay their fees or get, for some people, they're getting their first license. So those may be the jovial people or they're getting their license back or something. But for the most part, what is the atmosphere? You walk in and it's just kind of like, oh, I got to take a number. It's kind of bleh, flat. Okay. How do you feel these energies? It's because of people's moods. Okay. And moods are emotions. Now, let's take that a step further. How many of you get affected by other people's moods? Other people's stuff, other people's marriages, other people's relationships? Lots of us. How many of you have been affected by your family? Their ups and downs, their um, financial upsets, their moods, dad's mood, mom's mood. You know, what is the mood? Okay. Give me another example. What about love? Lovers, right? A lot of people are told, set a rom romantic mood. How do you set a romantic mood? You have essence you have you know you have a scent in the air maybe it's a floral scent maybe it's a masculine scent maybe it's masculine cologne you know just enough to get someone's juices going maybe it's a floral scent evoking something that's very feminine and inviting and warm or demure right what else you set the lighting you set up the room you set a candle, which is part of the lighting. You're evoking something, okay? And yet, when it comes to some of us, we forget about these things. We forget how they affect us. Why? Because you have an energetic body. You have several subtle bodies that help you detect these things, help you detect the mood or danger or the atmosphere or even the weather, Atmospheric pressures, like, you know, those people that say, I can tell the weather's going to change just by how my knees feel or my hips 
or you know some other area that they broke and it hasn't healed right. They can feel it. Why? They happen to be very sensitive in that area. It might not be completely healed. It might have had a diminished healing or limited healing. What else about your energy? Well, you have several subtle bodies, and those bodies have to do with different functions, different things that you need. What does it mean what you need? Well, it's like, it's like taking this area of your body, okay? Your lungs have one function. Your heart has another function, but they need each other. They have to work together. Not only do those two have to work together, your esophagus has to work with your bronchia and with your lungs. Why? Because it's like saying the knee bone is connected to the thigh bone is connected to the hip bone. Things are getting connected on you that have never been able to so deeply connect or fully function ever before. And that's where I come in. So I have been very highly trained in this and it's been by putting me through my paces, actually experiencing illness, disease, and overcoming it using the subtle bodies and the metaphysical connections. Now, to put this in a more simple term, you could call it your force field. Your force field, your aura. Some people can see this, but not everyone can see the higher aspects of it. Sometimes you can just see it sort of surrounding someone. You can see that someone's light is dim. You can see it in their eyes. Ever see someone's eyes darken or brighten? Yeah, you're seeing it in people's eyes. Ever seen someone who's been abused? You know, notice, you know, how dim their eyes look, how there's no sparkle, there's no light, there's no shine. They are dispirited. What about some of the other things? Well, your body actually has um, imagined, not imaginary, but invisible, the unseen parts of you that you can still sense and feel. And yet for some people where there's no sense, there's no feeling, meaning sometimes people can't sense and they can't feel, they cannot detect. Part of what you're here for is a twin flame body and a template for living that enables you to feel your divine connections and feel them guiding you. Now, this is where the beliefs and the teachings come in because some people have been taught this and they've been taught to expect it and they've been waiting very, maybe not so patiently, and other people haven't been taught it at all. And yet it, they're feeling it. They're feeling it. They're experiencing it. They're having ascension symptoms. They're having descension symptoms. And it's on. So what about these unseen, invisible areas of you that connect? Well, it's like having a set of train tracks to move, you know, the motor from one place to another. The motor will pull the other things with it. Pull all your freight, pull whoever it needs to, whatever you need. What is that motor? The motor is the heart and the high heart. The motor has to run on a series of connections so that this part connects to this part, connects to this part. So that how this happens, you know, how does this happen? If you see something fearful like a wild animal and something in you says, run or freeze and you turn into a bunny rabbit. And you just seize up and freeze up and say, if I don't move, it won't see me. And that's not always true, is it? And yet there are people that do that. They do that and they don't know why. Sometimes they got a traffic jam on their train track or on their thoroughfare, on their street, on their channels, because that's what they really are. They are channels that direct higher energy deeply inside you. Sometimes you get the traffic jam here. Sometimes you get the traffic jam here. Sometimes you get the traffic jam here. Okay? 
and you gimbal on and you wonder what's going on now. Okay, I'm here to tell you, instead of us focusing on what's wrong, let's focus on what's right. We do that far too much. What is right is that you're now able to kick it. Now, that's where my high-level training that I had has taken place. So from the time of a teenager, I've always had an interest in the human body. Always. I mean, I can't seem to help it. Even as a child, I would cut something so meticulously. My dad would say, wow, with your fingers and your cutting skills, you are going to be a surgeon one day. Well, my dad didn't know is that I am a twin flame surgeon. I'm a psychic surgeon. I help cut away those things, the heaviness of the past, the traumas that have disturbed you. Now, how have I learned energy work? Part of it has been by going through my own body stuff and having to do some things myself, push it out, lift it up, purge it out, um, get it shifted somehow, and start templating my body. I am a prototyper. Now, the weird parts came in with things like diet, you know, where I would get guidance that said, go eat a Big Mac, 1,200 calories. Are you kidding me? What's that all about? Well, that has to do with some of the collective that are doing those things. And how are they going to integrate the template? By someone like myself being the test pilot. Because it doesn't stay with me. It gets moving. And I'm all about no pain, no discomfort. There is a lot of amplified pain on this journey. Now, what about energy work? So I'm here in my studio this is my table. I know how to do massage. I learned at a time way back when. And it was at a time where um, it was strictly what is now called Swedish massage. It was um, for relaxation, for muscle relaxation. It wasn't some of the types that are available now, such as lymphatic massage or reflexology massage. Okay. But I do do that because I do it innately. Now, what I also do is I do energetic body work. Whoops. Let me let this focus a moment. Okay. <laughs> Hello. So, I do energetic body work. When I have someone, my hands are very highly attuned to feel on the person's body where are those bunched up energies, where do they need to move energy from below to the high heart connections, upper connections. The high heart is not the heart. The high heart is around this area. And so some people need to clear up here in this area. Some people need to clear down here in this area. Some people need to clear here. It's all different. It depends where you've come from, what is your background, what are your past lives, what traumas have you had, what's karma uh, in your background that you're balancing or eliminating, what runs in your family genetically, lots of factors. And the bottom line is, it's not just you. Isn't that interesting? Now, how could someone feel the energies of two people? Two people who are in love, deeply in love, but are in a form of separation, or even may know each other, and yet with one of them, we can get both of their energies moving. Now, that is a high-level gift that I have, and I've worked very hard to hone my skill at this to remove phobias that may not even belong to that person yet crop up and seem to impede them. Because you can have someone who seems to function perfectly normal. Suddenly, they develop agoraphobia. They don't want to go out of the house. They want to isolate. And they'll know it about themselves. They'll say, why am I like this? What is happening to me? What, what am I turning into? What am I turning into? Okay, and again, I want to say, don't focus on what's wrong. Focus on what 
is actually becoming correct or right or lightened up. That's the key. That's one of many keys to doing this. So in about 30 minutes to an hour, we get someone's energies shifted quite a lot. And we're talking about getting people off of addictions, getting people away from their phobias, getting people away from narcissistic abuse, getting people away from actual abuse, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical abuse sometimes. Getting people some very high-level healing that has to go deep in the body. And I can detect things on people's bodies where they've broken a bone, where they're having a slight issue such as high cholesterol, prediabetes, these kind of things for people, they're at that crossroads. You can either go this way into a more full-blown version of the illness, except we're talking about what's right about this picture. What's right is you're right at the point to integrate your brand new life body template and take the high road and get out of the pre-disease condition and start moving it. So how have I learned this? Well, it started very simply. It started very simply with working on people's bodies and starting to feel their energy. Then it came time where I had met a friend and the friend um, said that she was, uh, we weren't friends at that point, but she was a psychic. But I picked up a little pamphlet that she had written talking about past lives, which has always interested in me because I've always dreamed my past lives. Here and there, over years, like dream, I'm in a place, I'm in a life. You know, I can't help it. It just happens. And it was showing me something. It was showing me something about me. So when I picked this up, I reached out and uh, little by little, as she was having panic attacks, I started working with her on these panic attacks. Now, mind you, I had had my own panic attacks that I had had to work through by myself. So I already had some ways that I had honed to be able to do this. But the number one key is engaging the new light body, which doesn't want to hold any of these things. Your twin flame body cannot store up anger, resentments, grudges, feeling off balance, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned. Your body doesn't want those things. Those are not normal. And again, what's right about this picture? So as I helped my friend get through things, and we worked with color, and we worked with essential oil, and we worked with breath, I developed more of my skills. Now, she actually got better, and we started working together with live clients. We advertised and we started doing this. And what I started to understand was the twin flame dynamic and how entwined two lovers are. And yet how many things are actually embedded from lifetimes with these two true lovers. So I would be able to put my hand on someone and see an entire scene, a medieval battle, for example or even on a cosmic life in another place and time, what had happened that was like the straw that broke the camel's back and help them get better, sometimes without even discussing it, because as soon as it was touched, it was on the way. It was already going out. And we're not just talking ancient Egypt or ancient Rome. Those, those are timelines. Not everyone has been in the same timeline. This is why it's important to focus on you and what is getting right with you. What is getting in alignment with you? So this is how I learned to become an energy healer. And little by little, I had to learn how to clear my own body. I clear between every session that I do, which is vitally important. I very much believe in not bringing other people's stuff into other people's sessions. Absolutely not. 
There was a long patch of time before doing another one. I believe in making it easy with simple instructions, and I believe in after support, after care, giving the person some things to do so that they can keep the momentum going in their own health, in their own physical health, their own metaphysical health, their own emotional well-being, and feeling the love. Now, feeling the love, what I have found in approximately nine years of doing this as a twin flame healer and teacher, and even previously in about 20 years of doing body work, that high level experiences happen to people who address their metaphysical parts. So if you're doing something very static, like you're just there like this, and you're just doing a meditation, guess where you're going to be meditating? The fourth dimension, using your pineal gland, using your pituitary or your limbic system. That's where the numbers come from. That's where some of the messages come from. That's where past life uh, fragments that you see. It's not always what is new either. And that's hard to distinguish for people. They're saying, is this happening in the now moment? It's really happening right now. The majority of the time, it may be the past. And once it starts to tumble out, it's good to get it moving additionally with some energy work. Now I do the energy work live here in my studio in Chicago. I do it over the internet because each and every time that I up-leveled my skills, I had to have a break. Sometimes that break was for up to three weeks, during which time I was learning to hone my skills at that so that I could do things for people from another level, make it easier on them, and make it easier on my own union, make it easier for their own union. And it's like sometimes like whisking things away. Now, I also had a memory of who I was in Atlantis. And I was a top healer. I was a Palladian. And I used to go back and forth between here and the Pallades. And that happened until trouble came. And things started to fall apart, literally fall apart. But the part that I remembered the most is that we were at the point of helping people with the new design of the template, with the new body with the newness of it and helping them ascend and then boom, trouble came. Now, not everyone was there in that timeline. In fact, to put a lot of people on hold where we had to say, hang on a minute, hang on, something fell apart, the buck stops here, we've got to go and fix this so we can get everyone up and running. And therein lies one of the disparities that you see amongst people because some people are literally saying, well, what about me? What about why don't I have these memories? Or why am I not having that experience? Okay. And other people are saying, ooh, zip, spoon, bang, I had this and I had that happen and I had that happen. The playing field has been leveled. It is equal. The body is equal and you're going out of here two by two with your true love. And that's, that's really as simply as I can say it. When you come to me and you come for help, you're coming to me for genuine energetic help to whoosh away densities, traumas, things you don't even want to pillow talk about. You don't want to be together in an intimate setting with your love and saying, and then, and then forget about it. Get it done ahead of time. That's the whole key here. Get these things done. Get the small parts of you healed, new, so that you can properly function, so that you can have fun. And yes, I'm going to say it, romance, have romance, good times, fun times, adventures, and deep passion. So don't kid yourself with what people say out there that, oh, this isn't romantic. If someone is not reciprocating to you, it's really important that you feel out what exactly is that connection. Are you attaching 
a label to someone that maybe doesn't even want your attentions or affection and cannot reciprocate it. So I say take the high road, cut to the chase, get your energies moving, get the things that have troubled you or would lead to trouble, patterns, whatever you call them, patterns, implants, embeddings, um, pro, you know, programs and, uh, you know, whatever names people give, you know, the wrong download or the wrong, you know, false energy, whatever it is, get it out. <laughs> oh, everybody out, everybody off, everybody off your wings, everybody off your heart. There's only room for expanding for two people. There are not multiple twins that walk in and out. There are soulmates that walk in and out of your life. Whatever energy they are bringing, if it's good and it's yours, they should be doing this. Here you are, madam, or here you are, sir. I return to you that which I have once taken in full honor as a good angelic being that I once was, even if I don't remember it. Okay, so check the links below. This is how I became an energy healer. There are levels to energy healing. What I do is um, it's not energies from the fourth dimension like some people are might be aware of. This is entirely new to be able to work with the energies of two people. Would you like to learn how? I have a practitioner course. We're going to need people for next year and the year to come because this is going to be a simple way to maintain the teenagers who act out, to maintain people, to maintain the elderly. What's your niche? What would you like to do? Would you like to work and then come home and just kiss each other and not bring work home into your home, bring other people's stuff and dump it like a garbage dump? Your home's not a garbage dump. Your home is your love nest. Your body is your lover's nest. Okay? So thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Look at the links below. You'll be glad you did, and thank you very much. Bye.